Hello everyone, welcome to you my YouTube channel VBA Automation Tutorial Point. If you are new on the channel, so please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel to get the updated videos. So guys, in this video we will learn or we will talk about that how to link a MS Access table with the SQL Server. Right guys, so linking a access table means you know just whenever my SQL Server database table is updated so that changes will automatically happen in the ms access table and vice versa right guys so now i'll tell you that how to link a sql table with the ms access table right so here i have a sql database and now i'll select uh, all the tables from my database so my database my database name is right i'm getting all the tables from my database i simply write this query and execute it so in my database my database name is my database and it contain a three table that is here <clears throat> right guys so now i'll link this table that is employee details with the ms access so how would i do that let me show you so here my ms access right so now you need to click on external data and click on odbc database and here need to check it click link to the data source right and click ok and here i need to create a new dsn right because i do not have uh you know just dsn so now <clears throat> SQL DSN. Now you need to select it here SQL Server Native Client 11.0 and click Next. And here you need to specify the DSN name. My DSN name would be a test name and click on Next and click Finish. And here you need to select a SQL Server. You simply <clears throat> click on this and here it is my sql server if you don't know your sql server so you need to simply run this command select at at server name right so now you can see that here your sql server name desktop like this right and <clears throat> click on next right and here you don't need to do anything click on next right and here need to change default database to my database right and here you need to the you know just setting that you want to read the database or you also want to write the database so i need read and write all functionalities in the database I selected here and click on next and now I need to click on finish so now my <coughs> access table is linked with the SQL server database table so now I need to check that my test my you know just connection is successfully completed or not so click on text data source so now you can see that test completed successfully right so now click on OK and here click on OK and here you need to click on the table which you want to link with the MS Access database. Here I have a table that is employee detail. I selected it and click on OK. Right guys now you can see that here the table automatically comes in the database <coughs> here right guys so now what i'll do is i'll tell you that uh, i'll show you that how it's work if i make any changes in this database that i'll select the employee details here here you can see the 19 records not 21 records here and you can also see that 21 record here if i 
<coughs> update these tables in MS Access with this name that is Tom and employee ID is 6070 and address is USA right so now you, you simply save it right and now you can see that these these changes will automatically happen in this table now I'll need to execute this table again now you can see that the tome records is updated in database now you can see that here <coughs> If you update the same, if you update any records in the SQL Server, it's automatically, you know, just updated in the in this table, right, guys? You need to refresh it for this. So, guys, that's it. That's it for this video. If you have any concern, any queries, right, by in linking a table, MS Access table with the SQL Server, so please write your comment in the comment box. I'll get back to you on that, guys. So, that, guys, thank you. Thanks for the watching.